Hey everybody, it's GladderCat. It's time to play. We are back in Outpost Engineer. Very early, early game. Factory game, voxel based, and we are just getting started with our very first little bits of automation. So last episode, we placed some more torches down so we can see, we can get around at night a little better. I think they look pretty sweet and we've got some strategically placed uh, so we can navigate a little better at night. There is a flashlight. So if I hit F, that brings on the flashlight. So I'll leave that on for now. Last episode, we set up a little loop for power. We've got a miner mining coal an inserter feeding a belt, an inserter taking from the belt and feeding into a combustion generator, and then that generator transmitting power across these power lines back to our miner. And so we've got uh, a nice closed loop of power here, and we can branch off of this power pole and automate some more. And that's what we're gonna set out to do. Let's, uh, let's take a look at the uh, crafting table and see what else we might want to make. So we've got, we've got our stone cutter. We know about the drills now. We're going to be making more of those. We haven't done storage yet, so that's something we can look at. Conveyors, that's something we can actually automate and uh, automate their construction. Inserters, we know we're going to need those. That might be something we choose to automate. We'll do it by hand for now. Combustion generators, the power poles, we saw two different kinds, and then we have the sloped conveyors one for up, one for down, and they only cost an existing conveyor, so there's no extra cost or anything. And then we've got the torches, and then this, this satellite array is probably one of the next big things we wanna work towards. And it's gonna take 20 tin blocks, 10 copper cables. That's the copper cables aren't bad. Yeah, those aren't bad. And then uh, let's see, bronze gears, those aren't too bad to hammer out and the concrete blocks aren't too bad. The 2010 blocks might take some time. And then we've got a constructor here. So we might use that constructor to make tin blocks for us. But we'll see, once we get the satellite array up, I think that's gonna open up more things that we need to actually build. Let's just check here. We have, we've built just about everything here except the chisel. Where's that take? Takes a stick and a tin bar. Let's do it right now <laughs> while I have it. Uh, let me just hop off of, I want to make sure I'm not on my um, pickaxe here because I want these branches to be renewable. And if I use the pickaxe, then this bush will disappear. So I'm just going to grab some sticks, probably grab tin. So I have some on hand and then I'm going to build that chisel. Right, and I think we may need it later, but let me just do it now while we're thinking about it. And that is done. So the next thing we want to do, if we want to get to building the satellite array, we need the tin blocks. Let's just see how much we need to do to get those. That's one tin bar per. So why don't we set up automated tin mining? We, we threw a torch down right by a big tin deposit. It's not too far from, it's not a huge deposit. Uh, it's not too far from our power. We can run some more power poles over here and put a drill miner down and get that started. And then maybe we'll hand harvest that initially and carry it down to our furnace. And then eventually after that, we probably want to think about building an assembler and see uh, what that does. Like if we still need to, we may still need to set up furnaces here to smelt those, uh, that ore into bars. Okay. But first let's go get a mining drill. We have to create that by hand right now. Uh, we need more stone and we need two copper bars. I'm good on the copper bars. Well, let's go fetch stone. I think I put a torch down and I think it was way off of this way in this direction. stone, right? Let's see. I think it said stone. Or do we need the actual, I might need to mine. While I'm here, why don't I mine some too? I'll take the pickaxe and we'll grab some of this rock. 
because I can't remember if it said rock or if it wanted just the stones. The stones seem to be infinite. The rock does not. But we'll see as we play on. We've got both, so we should be in good shape. But yeah, we'll automate the tin mining and then copper. Let's see, what do we need? We need a drill. So it was stones. Let's get a drill going. Then how are we doing on power poles? We've only got one. We need some copper cable. Do I have copper bars? I've got two. Let's mine a little more copper by hand here and get some of that smelting. We know we're going to need it. Until we can get this automated, we're going to have to do some of the stuff by hand. I'm going to grab 20 again, like usual. We'll get that smelted up. And we'll use the wire we've got. But it doesn't hurt to get this going. Let's hop in here. Oh, we had copper bars in there. I forgot. All right. That's all right. We're going to use them. Okay. We'll smelt some more. looks like we're good on coal there. Let's go make some wire. I'm going to grab five of these. And let's see where we're at here. We've got our miner. We were going to grab a couple more power poles. And we're doing the wood ones. Let me grab two or three of those so we have it. Maybe four. I made the wire. What else am I missing? I'm not going to do conveyors just yet. We could actually make another torch. We've got some copper bars. Let's make, and we've got sticks. Let's make some more torches. And see, when it is dark, boy, it is dark. But it looks pretty cool. And the torches, I think, look awesome. All right, let's drop down a miner. I'll probably get this tree out of the way also. Why don't we do that? Get ourselves some more lumber while we're here. 21, 22 lumber total now. That'll give us a clear path. All right, let's drop down our miner. I should probably start using the other toolbars here. So just the F1 through F8, I believe. Uh, our separate toolbars. So let's go ahead and start doing that. So I'm on toolbar two. I'm going to go to my inventory. I'm going to put the mining drill down there and make that active. Let's pop that guy down and then let's route power. We'll put a power pole down. I'm going to hit F3 and actually make this kind of my power toolbar. We'll see how it goes. I may change things up. We'll do power and lights on this one. And maybe the cable. I've only got one copper cable. I thought I hammered out more of those. All right, let's do this power pole. Boom. And now I saw something that said, if you hit T, it shows you the range of the power pole. Now I don't see that yet. Okay. So, all right, let me pop the power pole down here. Boom. And let's run wire and see if it reaches. Whoops. Make sure I got that selected. All right. Boom, boom. All right, there we go. Wire to here. And I need to go pound copper into wire. We got more bars here. I'll take them out. And I don't really have anything else to smelt. I'll grab that copper out of there for now. Let's get some copper wire going. One, two, three, four, five. And then we can just make our way over here while that is crafting. And let's hook up the power. I'm going to select my wire. Then I'm going to point at the pole and click it. And point down at my miner. Boom. All right. 
now we've got tin mining automatically. It's got an, its own inventory of, what was it? 25, I believe. That mines up pretty fast. Nice. And we've got plenty of power so far. The next one we're going to want to do is copper. Why don't we just start thinking about doing that? Let's get another miner going. Built up, boom, we've got it. And then let's do power poles. Those are consuming a little bit. One more power pole. How are we doing on wire three? We need more wire. Let's see how many copper bars we got. Five bars left. Let's take three of them and get more wire. And then let's uh, get this guy going. Happens to be right there. Here is our power. Okay, we're going to come down this way. Let's go ahead and pop the drill down right here. Boom. And let's run our power poles. We can start practicing using some of these other toolbars. Ooh, let's see here. Okay, this guy got... Okay, the toolbars. Well, this one got filled up with a bunch of stuff. Three. I don't know. Maybe I did that before. I'm not sure. All right. Let's pick our power pole. Boom. And then I'm just guessing right now at the range. So I'm going to try it there. And let's see if we can connect that one up. I click it once to, to activate the copper cable. Then I click on the pole. And then I'm going to see if I can drag it. It looks like it'll take it. And then let's get one more pole down here. How about right here and see if we can stretch a cable that far. Touch. Okay. I've got the wire selected. Okay. Let's connect that up. And I think I can keep going. Can I? Nope, maybe not. We select the wire again. Boom. Pull, and then down to our miner. Check it out. Now we've got copper. So no more hand mining of tin or copper. That is nice. Now, eventually we need to get some belts down and get this going on assemblers. But for now, that ain't bad. Let me hit the T key and just see if it shows me anything. Okay, I don't see anything. I thought I did. All right. Not bad. All right, let's go grab the tin that's accumulated. Grab that out of here, 25 of those, and we'll head back down. We want to make the uh, satellite array because I think that's going to give us more things to craft. We need 20 tin blocks, and tin blocks, I'm sure, require the tin bar. So let's get that tin smelted up. Maybe we'll do this one kind of manually at first. Pop that all in there. I'll pop in more fuel, top it off. We'll let that go. Not much else to grab. I got plenty of coal on hand. I'm not too worried about that. Let's see what else we need for that satellite array. We need 10 copper cables and the bronze gears. So we can go harvest some copper here. We'll see how fast the inventory fills up. Not too bad, not too bad. 23, we'll wait till it gets 25 and we'll grab it, or 24, so we've already got one. We're gonna smelt some of this copper up and then we need to make bronze so that we can get five bronze gears. And that takes the copper, bar, the tin bars and the copper bars together will help make bronze bars. Then we can hammer those out into gears on the anvil and place our first satellite array. And I, like I said, I think that's going to give us more stuff to, uh, that we need to craft up, but we will just see while that is smelting. I'm going to go fetch some more tin ore. Boom. I'll grab some more copper ore and then we're going to smelt up the copper. And while we're doing that, 
we can, uh, while the copper is smelting, we can pound out these, um, what was it? The tin blocks. Let's do that. We need 20 tin blocks. Let's see if I right click, do I get five? I can't remember. One, two, three, four, five. All right, we'll see what we get out of that. I've got plenty of tin ore. Right now we're smelting the copper. We are getting, we have got 16 tin blocks. So we need to smelt some more tin. We've got some on hand. Copper is smelting up now. Let's go grab more tin. Again, we're going to early on, we're going to have to do some manual harvesting here, but it beats mining by hand. So we've got a tiny bit automated. Grab some more copper. We're going to need bronze as well. Let's see how our copper is doing. Got nine. We'll switch back over to 10 once this is done. And then we'll hammer out our, our four remaining tin blocks. It's just about done with the copper here. This is the last one. I'll top off the coal. Okay, boom. And we'll take that, pop in our tin. Top that off. So now we've got copper. We're going to need more tin for the four tin blocks that remain. And then we're going to need more tin for... Uh, to combine with the copper to get bronze. And then once we have bronze, we'll need to pound out five bronze gears. And we need eight concrete blocks too. We can go work on that. Uh, let's go, let's go make what we can. Concrete blocks. We've got enough to make six. I think. Yeah, six. And what do we need? Eight. We need eight concrete blocks. Let's go get some more stone. I'll empty this miner while we're here. All right. We marked this off with a torch. We'll switch to two of our one and grab my pickaxe and find some stone. Let's see, this all looks good. This does look like it can be depleted, but uh, we'll see. This is the rock. All right. Good, good, good. That should be enough. Looks like there might be rock up there. Oh, and we can make, ooh, we can make rock out of stones. Stones are infinitely renewable, so we could be doing it that way. It's a bit slower. All right, what do we need? We needed two more concrete blocks. Oh, wait, were you, yeah, two more concrete blocks, right? We've got six, we need eight. Let's grab two of these, and then let's go back to our furnace. Let's grab out the tin. Let's see, let's pop that there. Do we have copper? I only need five of these. Let's get five bronze bars. Top off the coal while we're at it. Maybe I'll grab more tin while that's doing its thing. Clear that. I may grab a little bit more coal because we're kind of hand powering that furnace right now. We could run a conveyor down off of this coal maybe and feed it with an inserter. I'm not sure. But I'm guessing that would work. I'll grab the copper out of here. We should have all the bars we need just about. Let's go ahead and grab those and we'll let that smelt, but we'll craft up five bronze gears. 
And then let's look and see what we're still missing here. We've got, we need four more tin blocks. We're good on the copper cable, it looks like. Or no, we need more copper cable. We got copper bars, we don't. Okay, we're gonna need to smelt more everything, but we're getting closer. Let's go ahead and finish this off and put in some more tin so we can get our four tin blocks done. Okay, now something went off. I'm not sure why. Okay, I see. We got a bronze bar kind of blocking the output. So we'll grab that. We've got four copper bars. We can use that for wire, right? Don't we need wire? We need, yeah, 10 copper cables. Let's go ahead and pound those out. At least get four more. We're going to need to smelt more copper as well. We're smelting iron right now. I'm going to go do another manual collection here of ore. Hopefully we won't have to do this too much longer. It's like we've got the sun coming up. Grab copper just in the nick of time there. Uh, let me grab the tin bars we've got and build our tin blocks. Two, three, and one more. Okay, we're getting real close now. All we need are three more copper cables and we will have the satellite right now. I imagine that needs to be powered as well. I'm gonna go ahead and cut this short, pop in my copper, top off the coal. And then, yeah, once we get three more copper wire done, we will be able to craft this. And then we'll see. It says it links to an in-orbit subspace communication array and allows communication with Earth. All right, let's see. There's three. I'm going to grab those three, and we are going to make our wire. Whoops, wrong one. One, two, three. So we'll see how big this is. Now the, the game's icon has a shows a huge <laughs> it shows a huge uh, satellite dish on it. So we'll see if this thing is as huge as it looks. All right, let's craft this guy up. Might take a minute. We got to find a place that makes sense to put this. I guess we don't want to be too far away. Maybe on this sandy area right here. It's relatively flat. Let's go ahead and check our inventory and drop this on a toolbar. Look at that. I think it's going to be pretty big. We'll find out. All right, here we go. Boom. <laughs> Look at that. It's huge. Nice. I like it. I like it a lot. All right. I don't want it right on top of that coal deposit because we may be using that. So somewhere out here for the first one, and I think we can pick this up and move it. Uh, should we rotate it? Let's see. Ooh, that looks kind of cool right there. Can we get it placed? Now this orientation does not give me uh, grain very often, does it? It's not letting me place, but boy, I like looking at the dish. Let's rotate some more. Okay, that is okay. Can I come over this way and find a flat enough piece? Doesn't look like it's gonna let me build in this orientation. Now the other thing we could do is build a platform for this. Ooh, did we have a spot right there where it was kind of? How about on this, how about right there? Boom. Nice. Check it out. Check it out. Now that is huge. Awesome. <laughs> that looks so cool. Nice. Very nice. Right next to some copper here. Let's see what it says when I click on it. Okay. No power establishing, establishing earth link process data cubes to gain research. All right. So we're going to need to make data cubes. I'm not sure how we do it. 
However, the other thing that we haven't built is this constructor, and I have a feeling that's what we're going to need uh, next. So let's start doing that. We need four tin plates. I've still got plenty of ore on me because we've been picking it up as we go. Let's pop some more tin ore in there. I've got copper bars. I've got tin bars. We want to drop down in a constructor and see if it allows us to craft these uh, data cubes that the satellite array is asking for. And then we're also going to need to run power to that guy. We need four tin plates. Let's go craft those out. Two, three, four. And then what else we got? One conveyor, which we've already got. And then three bronze gears. Do we have bronze? How much bronze do we have? We have five bronze. So let's hammer out three bronze gears for now. And again, I think these could be made in an assembler if we end up using a ton of them. But I want to pop down an assembler. I'll probably put it near this power pole just to see if it allows us to craft uh, data cubes. And then we can get an eye, uh, get a look at what the ingredients are for that. So we're good. Let's craft this guy. Boom. Let's see how big it is. And let's go to, yeah, let's pop it down on this toolbar. Inventory, here is the constructor. Let's see what we're going to get. Oh, not bad. Not bad at all. It's a little bit smaller than the, uh, than the satellite dish. <laughs> Look at that. Look at the comparison. All right. Let's go ahead and drop this guy down. Not sure what the best orientation is. I'm just going to pop it down right here and I'm going to run or let's just click on it and see what we get. All right. Select recipe. We've got copper cables, copper sheets. Not sure what those are used for. Tin plates, nice. Bronze gears, yep. Rock. Okay, that's with stone. Now I wonder if we can mine stone. We'll have to see about that. And if we can automate the uh, creation of those rock blocks. Okay, concrete blocks from rocks, all right. And then plain concrete block. I'm not sure what that's all about. Tin blocks, copper blocks, and wood blocks. Huh. How do we make data cubes? Let's see. I don't see anything here. Now let's go power up. Let's run power to our big satellite dish here. Here's my power poles right here. Let's uh, drop a power pole down. Might not need it, but We'll do it. And I need to go get some wire. Can go through that pretty quick, it looks like. 20 bars. We've got nine copper bars. Let's go pound out some more wire here. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. I just placed, uh, what was that? A wood block. Let's take that up, actually. Let's move to my first toolbar. I'm gonna grab my ax. I'm just gonna take that out and grab that back. Then I'm going to go clear here and pound out some of these. Four to get us started. We just need two to wire this up. But I'm just kind of curious what we're going to see here. Okay, that guy now has power. Boom. Or now he has power now that I hook this up. Okay, did that connect? Yep. Ah, uh, nope, not yet. Boom. All right, now we're connected up. Let's see what this guy tells us. Okay, process data cubes to gain research points. All right, analysis. Establishes a first uplink to Earth and tests the data connection. Unlock zero uh, research points. Okay, so I think I can just click this maybe. All right, okay, you receive the following blueprints. Molecular analyzer takes five copper blocks two copper cables, four bronze gears, and one conveyor. And we get a molecular analyzer and it says it decomposes resources, creating cubes of data that can be communicated back to earth. Okay, so this looks like how we're getting our data cubes with this molecular analyzer. Now I'm not sure what we feed into it, but once we craft one, 
we should be in good shape. And then once we craft it, we can feed it what it needs. We'll get data cubes, I imagine. We'll route those data cubes back to our satellite dish. That will generate research points for us. And then we can unlock these guys. And so now we're going to get kind of a, a first look at our, at our tech tree. So very cool. Now let me see. Imagine, let's see if the assembler is where we build this thing. Okay, I don't see the new recipe here, right? I don't see the analyzer. Let's look in our just inventory. I don't believe I can just craft this on my own. Nope, we just get the pickaxe and the anvil. Let's take a look at the crafting table. Okay, there it is, molecular analyzer. Interesting. Now the crafting table, hmm. I don't think we can automatically craft these analyzers. We'll have to do it by hand. But let's wrap this episode here. Boy, we accomplished a lot in this one. We got some automated mining down for our tin and our copper. We've got our enormous satellite dish here, which looks awesome. Hey, look, that looks really cool to me. I like it quite a bit. And then we learned, we think we learned about data cubes, what that's going to involve. And we need to uh, make our analyzer, molecular analyzer. We took a look at an assembler and eventually we'll start using these to automate stuff. I'm doing things, <laughs> I'm kind of doing things a little manually in the beginning because I want to see what the game has to offer. So as soon as I possibly can. So I think we may next episode... We'll look at crafting one of these molecular analyzers and we'll see what that does for us. It's not that, not that many resources to create manually. We'll drop one of those down, power it up, see what it takes, uh, feed it what it wants. And then maybe that's where we start getting into making some more belts and then maybe using some of these, um, constructors to automate. Oh, we can't make belts with automated constructors. Okay, well, maybe we'll get a recipe to do that. It'd be nice to automatically build the belts without having to go over to our crafting table. So that could be a recipe that gets unlocked as we go. I'm not sure. I have no idea. We haven't really gotten there. and I haven't gotten there yet. But yeah, let's wrap this episode here. A lot accomplished. I really do like this game and the potential. And I think we can get a pretty cool looking factory going once we get things moving. I already like the looks of this quite a bit. Let me know in the comments what you think. Again, this is an early version. This doesn't represent the final, final gameplay. Um, jump on the Discord if you want to help contribute to the development and provide your feedback. Uh, maybe request a version of the game. See if you can uh, get a test version or something and you can help test the game and provide some feedback. I'm not sure what the uh, developer's policy is on that. I don't know how many people have a copy of this game. It might just be me playing it now. <laughs> I may be the only person at the time of recording. But boy, it looks cool. I, this has been on my wish list for a little while. I saw this game, some videos that the developer posted, and immediately knew that this is something I had to get my hands on. And I think I mentioned in maybe the first video that uh, boy, I requested like three or four times over the course of a month. And then finally the developer relented and said, okay, go ahead here. You can take a look and let me know what you think. So I like it so far. That's what I think. Anyway, let's wrap it here. This is glider cat saying, thanks so much for watching. Do consider giving this a thumbs up if you like it and subscribing to the channel, that would be most appreciated. Uh, but for now, this is glider cat signing off saying, I will see you in the next episode.